Jones. Playing against the Cran family. On your mark, let's start the new family feud. Here's the star of family feud, Ray Cohn. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Hello to the Cran family. Welcome to the Beckwith family. Welcome to the family feud. Thank you. Two great families ready to battle it out so that one of them could win a jackpot worth up to $20,000 right now. We're calling for that bullseye game right now. Come on with me. Is it Jackie? Come on, Randy. Good to see you again. Before we start, let me place $5,000 into the bank of the Beckworth family. That is the very least you could play for. To the Tran family, I place $5,000 the very least you could play for. This question is worth $1,000 to the building of your bank. We ask 100 people. Tell me a piece of news young ladies can't wait to share with their friends. Jackie? They have a new boyfriend. They have a new boyfriend. It's not number one. Randy, what is a piece of news young ladies can't wait to share with their friends? I'm pregnant. Now, let me ask you a question. No, no, no. Is that it? Yeah. I'm pregnant. pregnant. Uh, I know girls can't wait to share they're engaged. What would be number one? She's engaged, which means she's pregnant. All right. Here we go. Come on, Kay. Nathan, Kay, this question will add $2,000 if you can name a kind of bird that, that's a, name a kind of bird that's become a pest around some cities. Okay. Pigeons? Pigeons are yeah. big pests. Are they number one? Yeah. Seven grand for the Beckwith Bank. For $3,000, Tony. Good job, Tony. Rick, for three grand, real or fictional, name a famous Betty. Rick? Betty Boop. For $3,000? Stay here. Tony, real or fictional, 100 Americans, name a famous Betty. Betty Ford. Is it Betty Ford? I know what it is, Betty Rubble. What's number one? Betty White. Oh, my good friend, how did I miss that? Number one. Sally, Tim. This question is worth $4,000. $4,000. Name a food that you can cook just as well as it's cooked in most restaurants. Sally? Hamburgers. Is a hamburger going to add $4,000 to your bank? <laughs> Tim, name a food that you can cook just as well as it's cooked in most restaurants. Hot dog. Is a hot dog going to bring you $4,000? <laughs> Is it chicken, spaghetti? What is the bullseye? Stay! No one said, and here we go. Well, somebody hit the bullseye with this $5,000 question. Name a complaint men have about their hair. Paul? It's too long. The hair is too long. A complaint that men have about their hair, what would be number one? They're losing it. They're losing it. Is it five grand? Bulldog! Oh! $12,000 for the Beckwith family, and we're coming right back to play the feud. You see, you got to win the feud to play fast money for all that money in your bank. Twelve grand for the Beckwith, 5000 for the Trans. Stay tuned. More feud is coming right back. In 50 years. We are back and let us say hello to the champs, the Beck with family. How you doing, Randy? Doing well. Ten thousand dollars for your first time on the show. This is your second day, and you got twelve thousand dollars in your yes. bank. Yeah. We do love it. <laughs> From Southern California. Absolutely. Who'd you bring with you? I brought my sister-in-law, Kay. Nice Kay. to see you. My brother, Rick. Howdy. My mother, Sally. Hi, nice Ray. to see you. 
and my youngest young, youngest brother, Corey. Welcome back, Corey. Let's say hello to your opponents. They are a powerful team. Welcome the Tran family. Jackie, how are you? It's nice to see you. Thank you. You have, uh, you have the minimum bank, which is $5,000, but what's most important, you have the maximum attitude. You'd like to be the champions, wouldn't you? Yes. Good luck. Tell everyone who you brought. I brought with me Nathan, my cousin. Yes. My brother, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, my brother, Tim. Howdy, Tim. Hi, and my other cousin, Paul. It is a pleasure. <laughs> I think it's time to play the yeah. Randy. First team to 300 points will win this. Thank you, Brandy, for screaming right in the middle of I mean, Rick, right in the middle of my speech. First team to 300 wins the game and goes on to play fast money for a chance to win their bankroll. We ask 100 people this question. We then place the top six answers on that board. Good luck. Try to find the most popular to this. What do men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about? Randy? Not enough sex. Some men make their wives feel guilty about not enough sex. It's there, but two answers are more popular, Jackie. What do some men, what do men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about? Shopping too much. Too much shopping? That's number one. Not enough sex? Too much shopping? Nathan, is that you doing, my friend? All right, how are you? Great. <laughs> I'm great. Good. First contestant ever had more enthusiasm than me. <laughs> Men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about spending money and not enough sex. What do you say? They don't clean. That's right. <laughs> they don't. Do we understand that, Judge? All right. I didn't want to play with that. They don't. <laughs> they don't clean. Tony, are, are you married? Right? Are you married, my friend? Um, not anymore. Not anymore? Have you been married? Yes, three times. <laughs> I would say you'd know about guilt. How many? How, <laughs> three times to the same woman, though. You've been married three times to the same woman? Yes. <laughs> where is she at this moment? I don't know. I don't know where she is. I'm still looking for her, though. <laughs> Wherever you are. Hello, Kim. So what you're saying is you'd marry her a fourth time? Maybe. All right. Do you know something that you might have done to make her feel guilty? <laughs> Gain too much weight. All right. Maybe we'll see this there. Honey, you're starting to look like Oprah. <laughs> Tim? <laughs> Tim? Right. What do men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about? She's not a good cook. She can't cook. The crabs for every reason to make their wife feel guilty. Come on, Paul. Make it a clean sweep. Their driving skills. Your driving skills are terrible, honey. Strike one. Jackie, what do men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about? No kids. All right, honey. We have no kids. This field. Come on, Nathan. Nathan. Three seconds. Um, Take a guess. Uh, All right. You can steal it, Corey. Why do men sometimes make their wives feel guilty about screaming? Maybe they don't like their hairstyle. They don't like their hairstyle. They talk too much. Your wife talks too much. Taking care of the car. The way they take care of the car? They don't take care of the kids. Don't take care of the kids. Randy, one of those could be the big steal answer. With them, we're on your own. Come on, Randy. What are you going to do? I'm going to go with, uh, I agree with Kate, taking care of the kids. Is it for the steal, taking care of the kids for a steal? <laughs> the tram. Keep their bank. Some men make their wives feel guilty about number six. Going out with the girl. You should stay home, ladies. We're going to come right back. Four families you right after this. 
If your family would like to try out for Family Feud and you live in the Los Angeles area or expect to be there, call area code 213-965-9999. If you live in the San Diego area or expect to be there, call area code 619-223-2101. Back to Ray. Thank you, Gene. The Tran family, 78 points. The Beck with zero. It's time for another face-over right now. All right, here we go. Point value is doubled. Top six answers are on the board. We ask 100 people, what did you have nightmares about when you were a kid? Nathan. Ghost. Is Ghost going to be there? That is not on our survey, Nathan. I'm sorry. Don't be surprised. <laughs> Something you had nightmares about when you were a kid. Boogeyman. Stop talking about it. <laughs> the boogeyman. Monsters, ogres, think of a steal. $12,000 in your bank, come on, champs. What did you have nightmares about when you were a kid, Rick? That uh, someone was after me. So kidnapped me. Somebody was after you. <laughs> Being chased. <laughs> Sally? Did I be left? behind that i would be home alone all right, all right. All home right. Alone. Good Good. all alone <laughs> <laughs> yeah. losing my parents oh. corey what did you have nightmares about when you were a kid say uh, it <laughs> well no one else would have known it but i'm gonna have to go with horror movies maybe what kind of movies maybe you had a nightmare about a horror movie you saw oh. horror, horror movies all right yeah, I've had a few of those dreams myself, those horror movie dreams. Oh. Good try, my friend. One strike. Think of that steal. Woo. Randy? I had nightmares about uh, school. Let me see. School. Oh. Two strikes. Think of that steal, Tran. It's your chance to get the bank back, Kay. What did you have nightmares about when you were a kid? You got three seconds. Being kidnapped. Is kidnap going to keep you alive? <laughs> what did you have nightmares about when you were a kid? Being laughed at at school. Laughed at at school. Tim? Uh, getting lost. Getting lost. Falling. 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 What do you say, Jackie? Jackie. With him, Jackie, you're on your own. I'm going to go with Tony. Falling. Let me see. For the steal. Falling. You know, whenever you have the dream of falling, you always wake up before you hit the ground, because if you don't, they say you'll die. The people that you find dead in their sleep, they dream they were falling and they didn't wake up. Number three, nightmares about getting long. Number four, snakes, 198 to zero, and we go. Beckwith family, you need this to stay alive. Champions, it's up to you. You take this, I mean, excuse me, challengers, you take this all the way out, you are the champions. Triple value. Top four answers on the board. After, listen to the word. After you ask someone's name at a cocktail party, what might be the next question? Telephone number. Okay. Let me see. Hi, Sue, what's your phone number? <laughs> After you ask someone's name at a cocktail party, what might be the next question? Where are they from? Where are you from? There it is. Think of the steal. What would be the next question after you ask someone's name at a cocktail party? What do you do for What do you do? Me? It's got to be number one. Corey. Are you married? Are you married? We're going with another face-off, Randy, if number four is... Do you have any children? Any kids? Oh. Think of a steal. What would you ask for the second question after the name? May I buy you a drink? May I buy you a drink at someone's yeah. party for free? Oh. They're going to steal if you don't know, Rick. Come on. Second question after you ask their name at a cocktail party. Three seconds. Who are you here with? Yeah. Okay. yeah Who are you here with?
We ask 100 people to name something that you bundle up. Tim. Blanket. Blanket. You bundle up something that you bundle up. A baby. Baby! The champs are coming back! Name something that you bundle up, Corey. Bundle of sticks. Sticks? Something that you bundle up. Newspapers. Newspapers! Yeah! Okay. Old clothes. Old clothing. Think of the steel over there. Rick, something that you bundle up? Yourself. Is it yourself? Yeah. Come on! You're gonna play for 12 grand, how are you? Oh. Three seconds. Okay, Can repeat the question. Something you bundle up. Three seconds. That's okay. That's something that you bundle up, Paul. Your laundry. 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 Your hair. Your hair, you bundle up your hair or your laundry. <laughs> Don't say it. One of those two answers could win you the game, Jackie. Laundry! Is it? For the game in a steel laundry? Let me say goodbye to a family. They got ten thousand dollars. Made sense when they said it. My pleasure. Stay here. Two players for five thousand dollars. The Tran family facing that big boy. You and me, Nathan. Don't go away fast money right after that. You heard the Tran family going for five thousand dollars with fifteen seconds on that clock. Good luck, Nathan. Thank you. We ask a hundred people, name something specific a bricklayer uses. Cement. The best kind of place to people watch. A uh, zoo. A kind of fly. A uh, pack. What do mothers and fa mothers and daughters fight about? Uh, the, her boyfriend. Something that should be built to last. Uh, a truck. A truck. Okay, turn around. You got four of the five bricklayers. You said would use. Cement, the survey says 35. The best kind of place to people watch. You like nothing like going to the zoo to see people. Good answer. Person's got their pants down over there. The baboons. Let me see. What did the survey say? Mm. How'd you do when I said a kind of fly? You said nothing. Mothers and daughters fight over. You said boyfriend survey, sir? Big one! 42. Should be built to last, you said? Truck survey, said. Oh. No. We're going to leave some work for your cousin Tim. 123 from five grand. Straight ahead with 20 seconds on the clock. Revealing your partner's answers, bring it home. We ask 100 people. I feel so tall. What are you gonna do? We ask a hundred people. Name something specific a bricklayer uses. Uh, the best kind of place that people watch. TV. A kind of fly. Uh, what do mothers and daughters fight about? Hus husband. Something that should be built to last. Take a guess. Best place to people watch. Uh, what? Turn around, let's see how you did. I feel so small right now. Brick, don't feel bad. You're gonna get $5 a point. You might have to write us a check. Uh. Brick layers you. <laughs> Bricks would have been number one. Don't worry about it. You're gonna get a few in the head from your family on the way home. <laughs> Best kind of place to people watch it. Blank, you said TV. Survey said. <laughs> Shopping mall, okay. A kind of fly. Uh. You didn't know. Horsefly would have been number one. Shopping mall is a place that people watch. Mothers and daughters fight over, you said. Husband. Survey said. Zero. Oh, you know, I've done this show for six years, and this could be the first time that I had a person that actually got no points, and I think it's a damn fine way to go out. Thought I was a loser till you walked up here. You made me feel like a man, Tim. Give me your hand. Something that should be built to last, you said. Mm.
some departing contestants will receive Chetley Round Tea Bags are specially blended for great tasting iced tea. Chetley Iced Tea. Bet you'll like it better. Back to Ray. Thank you, Gene, for the few non-Ray Cones. See you next time. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson television production.